G'day folks. Well over the years we have filmed hundreds of incredibly talented people across the world. Many of these artists have gone on to produce their own videos as well. We hope you enjoy this great lesson from one of our Colour in Your Life artists. Hi, I'm Celia Moriarty and I want to share with you the most valuable thing I've learned about painting with colour. And it's about colour intensity. I will demonstrate it with three primary colours. But first, I want to tell you the story. I was painting some red shoes. It was part of a painting for the Millions Missing campaign, which is all about people who are uh, stuck at home because they have myalgic encephalomyelitis, ME or chronic fatigue. They can't go out the door. So I had shoes at the door and the red stiletto shoes, the party shoes, that had to stay home had sunlight hitting them uh, and so that red now when the highlight was there that's in a yellowy white and the red shoe and then the shadow and the shadow was still a red shoe so I was looking at that thinking how do I get still a red but not as intense a red so the value has changed the values the light but the chroma, the red, is still red, but the intensity needs to change. So how do I change the intensity? Now, I'll show you. I'm beginning simply with three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. And I'm going to make a colour wheel to begin this exercise. Now, if you told me when I was at school, I was going to do anything with color wheels and enjoy it, I would have laughed in your face. And now, well, my attitude has changed. Now we simply want to make our secondary colours and you know those will have green, orange and purple. Now we've made our secondary colours, just the blue and yellow to make green, red and blue to make purple, and our orange from red and yellow. But the power of this exercise is in what's called the tertiary colours. Now remember that I started with red shoes and I couldn't see how to make the shadows in the red shoes without them not being red anymore if I put black in there it would just be a brown so what this is about is we now take that primary color and mix the opposing secondary color into it in order to make that color less intense <laughs> we have our tertiary red yellow and blue we originally had the intense red and in order to make that less intense like the shadow in the red shoe we've gone to its opposing secondary color and that's the green mix the two together and we've still got a bright red 
but it's not as intense as that. And done the same with the blue. I've put the orange into it to make it a less intense blue. Now, even if you were painting a sky, say, and you wanted the sky to, as you go up above the horizon, that blue to become less intense, you don't just uh, change things with white, you change the actual chroma of the color, the intensity of the color, and you do that by adding orange. Even though that seems counterintuitive, orange would do the trick. And the same thing when you're looking at purple uh, with yellow. So you're wanting to, uh, in our first painting, we're painting the Phillip Island hibiscus. We're painting a yellow one. And in the folds, there's this strange hard to get color. And I'll, I'll give you a method for how to pick that color. But really how we make it is we look for a purple. So we make a purple, with our two uh, opposing colors, the red and blue, and then find that tertiary color there. Now this really helped me with my painting and color mixing and getting clean, clear values uh, without just making browns by sticking black into things. So it's a really important lesson. So make your own uh, color intensity chart and have this ready to reference and get it into your head when you're looking for those changes in intensity of color. This is how to do it.